Welcome back. Snowpocalypse. Snowpocalypse coming tomorrow. No what? I said snowpocalypse. Snowpocalypse? Yeah. No, that's really in that one I'm coming up. Uh, that's funny for me. Same one? No, it's rough yeah. over. You're fucking you full. Yeah. Full as fuck. Alright, so this is Rough Tales 3 2 1 Lights Jam. It was canned 122 of this year. I'm pretty sure it's a, sh- a raspberry. Blackberry, maybe I think that's what it is. A milkshake IPA. I think it was like eight bucks for a sixteen ounce crawler. Eh, not too bad. It looks fucking like blackberry. I get like hoppy, like peaches and coconuts over the berries that they used. Huh. I don't smell peaches. Definitely like mosaic hoppy. Yeah. Over the. It smells really healthy. I smell a little bit of blackberry, but that's about it. Ka-ching, I know you're not drinking. Sitting there freezing. I can tell you by the taste, it's definitely got. I'm going to say mosaic and citrus. Citra for sure. Because it's real sweet and I can taste the like peach pineapple flavor. Yeah. But I taste pineapple. It's definitely kind of bitter. That's why I think maybe some citra. Because citrus is like sweet and bitter, right? Yeah. And then I do taste a little bit of like blackberry, but not much other than that. It Like, if it wasn't purple, you would never know that other fruit was in there. Well, that was putting that crowler literally, what, three weeks ago? So, I mean, it might have killed it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it tastes different. It did taste different when we had it fresh. It tastes less like an IPA and way more fruity. Yeah. It tastes more like an IPA. So, I'm going to say it probably did. It probably killed the fresh fruit now. Definitely go have it on tap. I don't even. I don't even know that they've got. They might have it. <clears throat> I don't know. It's kind of weird, man. Well, me and Casey's been in there probably twice within the last month, and it seems like every time we go in there, more than half of their beers are different. That's good. Yeah. It's nice to see that they're actually like rotating out their their tap room, unlike a lot and, of other breweries. Yeah. Like Twisted Spike. What and was the uh, you Angus got Gotham. The first one went there. Are you talking about the Mountain Dew beer? Yeah. I don't remember what it was called, but they had a beer that was brewed like Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Oh, yeah. And it was it was the shit. Yeah, it was pretty good. Huh. I don't remember what I had when I was in there at that time. Like, there's there's a lot of breweries I don't bother going to the brewery anymore because they don't ever add anything new. They don't ever change anything out. Like uh, Angry Scotsman, unfortunately, is one of them. Uh, the last time I went was with uh, Jesse's brother, and everything that was on the, uh, the the list I've had, so I was kind of annoyed. Battered boar is kind of like that. Yeah, battered boar is kind of like that, too. But the, the good thing about battered boar is everything is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it don't matter. Like, you can go into battered boar, and it literally will be the same thing that was on the menu we did there last time, but they're all fucking fire. Yep. What was the last time we went there? What did we get? The chocolate covered strawberry or cherries. I don't remember what yeah, it was called. That, that was the chocolate covered, it, what they call a stout, which is a little thin consistency for a stout. That, that, was that shit one. was so good. Yeah. yeah. So, what are you getting out of that? Um, a middle of the road milkshake IPA. I mean, honestly, when we had it there, it was way better. I'm going to give it two separate scores just because of that. But it's, it, it's definitely way better when we had it there. I really like the shit out of it. That's what, I think Casey bought two Crowlers or... No, two of these. No, that's, te- that's a set technically a 16-ounce Crowler, but... Yeah. 
I think yeah, he bought two. I of, bought two bought of these two. and two of the pickle beers. Oh, and nice. I just bought two pickle beers, but <laughs> this shit was real good then. What was the candle on date on that? So one twenty-two. And it is two thirteen now. So take that into a, into account. Shake IPA, then I would probably give it a better score than an eight because it's a pretty good milkshake IPA. But I know there's supposed to be fruit in there still, and it sucks ass. Yeah. All right, so you go. Just don't let your fucking crawler sit there for three weeks, right, guys? That's right. <laughs> we'll be seeing.